here, in all of this matter, the issue is not where, what, how, whatever. The main issue is what did Bola Ahmed Tinibu submit to INEC? Is it from Chicago State University or not? That's, that is the bone of contention round. Whatever, however, that's not it. The fact that I went to Bayero uh, University, Kano, does not mean that I will go and do one certificate and write Bayero University and put whatever and go and submit to them and say that it's from them. That's forgery. Eh? Even leave, let's even leave all those other matter of identity theft, where we go. What did he submit? Because whatever he submitted to INEC was done under oath. There's always a, an, an affidavit. That you have to go in person to go and say that whatever sign and say that you are swearing and oath that all the uh, information here is correct. If the people that so that supposedly are the ones that give you gave you this certificate are coming out to say that this certificate is not from them, that is forgery now. That's what the bone of contention. And anyone that forges uh, as a, a result, no matter what, there is this tweet by. Uh, that was done by uh, Festus Keyamo. <laughs> he did it 15th of April 2019 on the issue of certificate and all of that. And that's why for me, eh, even in 2015, when they were talking about, you know, certificates, uh, I think 2014, 2015, I just didn't even bother to take part in that conversation. Because one thing that I kept saying was the fact that there is a problem with our constitution. The fact that a president, you just need to bring uh, either a primary school certificate or it's equivalent. Even if you don't have the certificate, if you have something, something that is equivalent, or they, I think there's even a part where they say, if I can confirm that you can read and write and all of that, then it's okay. I had problem with that. How can the leadership of the highest political office in the land, that what you need is primary school certificate? So, and of course, he did a tweet where he said, by the, that by the definition of school certificate or its equivalent in section 318 of the 1999 constitution, you don't need a YX certificate to become president or governor. But if you present a forged YX or other certificate to INE for any office, you'll be disqualified. Yeah, he was talking, he was talking about the Oshun State scenario. That was uh, uh, 15th April 2019. We've not heard Festus Kiyamo. Where is Festus Kiyamo to come and explain the drama to us now? What is happening? Whether there is disqualification or there's no disqualification or whatever. Uh, Festus Kiyamo should come and tell us. It's, it's not about it. The thing is that if it is forged, any document that is forged, you automatically should be disqualified, right? Because you should help us do for Festus Kiyamo to come and describe this whole thing for us because we need answers from him.